Saad is an environmental crimes officer at the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime. He joins us now live uh, from uh, Bangkok. Giovanni, how do you stop this illegal trade in ivory? Do you tackle the demand side, this rather perverse demand from China for ivory, or do you tackle the supply side, or both? Well, inevitably, uh, you have to tackle both. Uh, from other crime areas, we learned that uh, reducing the demand is uh, a lengthy process. Uh, changing the behavior of people towards especially luxury goods is uh, uh, difficult. It takes a lot of time, a lot of effort. Countries like China are actually doing um, a lot of work to try to curb the, uh, the demand, but it's uh, an overwhelming demand, not only in China, but also in other countries uh, in Asia, uh, where maybe Chinese minorities uh, can purchase uh, ivory also in those countries. We've seen growing evidence of that. Reducing the demand is uh, a key factor, but uh, as I said, it takes time, and uh, unfortunately, uh, conservation uh, doesn't allow for much time. So if we want to save ivory and uh, uh, the African elephant, it's important to intervene also on the uh, side of suppression, uh, law enforcement, criminal justice. There is a lot of work that uh, can be done, should be done, especially to improve the legal frameworks related to uh, the investigation and prosecution of poachers and traffickers, the regulations related to trade, yeah. sometimes involving also the private sector, and the cooperation between law enforcement agencies in Asian and African countries. Yeah, I, I was going to ask you about international cooperation. Is there enough coordination between countries involved in this fight? Well, we're seeing improving signs of cooperation, but uh, I'm afraid that we have still to admit that uh, it's not satisfactory. Um, there is very poor uh, information exchange, very uh, limited level of intelligence that is shared uh, between uh, Asian and African countries. Every seizure theoretically contains uh, a wealth of intelligence that could help investigate higher level players in the ivory trafficking uh, rings. But unfortunately, this information is not shared yet uh, in a systematic way. Okay. This is an area that needs to improve. Giovanni, good to talk to you. We wish you the best with your, your, your fight against this. Uh, Giovanni Broussard, don't forget you can see that, uh, uh, that 101 East program, White Gold, later on Thursday at 22 hours. 22.30 hours GMT here on Al Jazeera. Uh, returning now to a developing story.